There are two general approaches to audit sampling. You've got statistical sampling and non-statistical sampling. They both rely on the auditor's judgment to some extent. However, statistical sampling is based on the laws of probability and tends to be a lot more objective than non-statistical sampling, which is based more on the auditor's judgment. Okay, so let's talk about these in a little bit more detail. So we'll start with statistical sampling. So let's say that we've got a situation where we have a thousand different purchase orders. Okay, that's the population. We have a thousand purchase orders and we're trying to figure out what should be the sample size. Well, with statistical sampling, what we would do is we would use probability to say, okay, what would be the optimal and most efficient sample size out of this 1000 given the tolerable risk and so forth, right? And so we're, we're gonna say, okay, what is the most efficient sample size using probability? And we're also gonna measure what is the sufficiency of the evidence that we're obtaining? And we're gonna be able to quantify sampling risk. You know, sampling risk is basically the risk that when you, when you draw, so we've got this population, okay? And so we're gonna draw a sample. Let's say this is the sample here. So we're not observing the entire population. We're just observing this sample. But when we draw conclusions from this sample here, it's possible that the conclusions we draw from this that if we were to see the entire population, we would draw a different conclusion. And so that's sampling risk. Now, with statistical and non-statistical sampling, they both have sampling risk. Anytime you draw a sample, doesn't matter how, there's always gonna be a risk that that sample is not gonna be representative of the entire population. So there's always gonna be that risk. However, statistical sampling, because it's more objective and uses probability, you can actually go and quantify what the risk is. Okay? Now, when we use uh, non-statistical sampling, so let's again say we've got this example with a thousand purchase orders, we're not gonna be using probability. What we might, you might have the auditor say, look, you've got a thousand purchase orders, but maybe they notice that seven of those purchase orders are much, much larger than any of the others. So we've got 993 that aren't aren't that large, but then we have seven that are for really large amounts. Maybe for they're for more than fifty thousand dollars, and then the 993 are for like less than five hundred bucks. Okay, so they say, well, you know what? We've got these seven really large ones. Let's just have that be our sample. So we're not using probability to figure uh, what should be the optimal sample size. We're just saying, look, let's use our judgment. There's seven really large purchase orders and then the other ones aren't that large. So just let's just sample the ones that are really, really large. Now, again, just to note, there's sampling risk associated with each type of sample. So we're, whether we do non-statistical or statistical sampling, we're always gonna have sampling risk. We can't get out of that. Uh, statistical sampling is gonna allow us to actually quantify the risk that we have. However, you should know that in practice, non-statistical sampling is quite prevalent. So even though it's more objective to be doing statistical sampling, you have to remember that um, not every person is well-versed in statistics. So some auditors might have a hard time doing uh, statistical sampling for a certain thing. And it might be in some cases, it might actually be a, a better to just say, okay, well, let's just use our judgment and say, hey, we've got seven really large uh, purchase orders here. Let's take a look at those.